On Fresh Bake, we got ourselves another update from uh, the Disneyland construction work going on at Disneyland. <laughs> We're going to start with uh, Town Square. And uh, it looks like they've, they've made quite a bit of progress in getting the, the track laid here and the, the, the brickwork done. Uh, we'll look to the left first because we got a better view this week from the left. And you can see that there is quite a bit of uh, red brick down there. Uh, it's hard to tell because, you know, the, the town square area had red brick already. Uh, but you can see if we push in a little bit, there's some track um, and some red brick there and, and a hole in the ground. But anything around that track is new red brick. Uh, and then this guy, the same guy, it looked like he was doing some, I just captured this real quick, uh, doing some, you know, fine touches with the demo of the, of the uh, pavement that's around the track. And then looking to the right, we couldn't see much because there's a lot of uh, materials in the way, but you can see just bags and bags of what I can only assume is like concrete mix. I believe that's what that guy's doing is mixing concrete. Uh, and you can see some, some red brick there that's getting ready to be put down still. But there, right there, you know, next to those orange bags, that's new. That's new track and new red brick. Yeah, he's definitely, yeah, that's definitely a mixer there. Now, I don't know where they're putting the new concrete if it's, I guess they have to, Put it around the, the, the brickwork. And then we're going to pull out of here because I, thought, I captured this. This is so cute. The whole time we're looking at this, there's a Donald Duck meet going. <laughs> and it's just weird. The juxtaposition of a Donald Duck meet going on while they're doing all that construction as if nothing's happening. And then this is a long shot I took of from, from uh, the partner statue. And that's the, the, the wall, the corridor of Walls of Wallness down Main Street and into Town Square. And that was just an impressive looking shot right there. Just so much, so many walls. It's very daunting. Wow. Oh, and hey, another surprise. It's Ken. Ken said good, uh, Ken said good morning to us while we were uh, filming that. Nice of him. I love seeing Ken at the park. Uh, I love that he, that, he, that he enjoys us covering him as well. Now, before we get into our next update, uh, which is going to be coming from... Dumbo, I wanted to show you guys these images that were sent to us by the friend of Fresh Baked, uh, John S. He sent these to us on Twitter. And this first one that I'm showing you, they took down the walls, you guys. They took down the walls at the hub. So that's, we got our, we're getting our first look at what the, the brickwork will look like uh, for, the rest of the, for the rest of Main Street and Town Square, I'm assuming. But this is, this, I believe he shot this yesterday. Uh, and you can see there's the old brickwork there. And there's the new brickwork there. You can't make it the same, obviously, because it'll just look weird. <laughs> it would look weird if they extended it all the way. But that is how it looks there from, uh, from, from the hub facing Sleeping Beauty Castle. Now, John was also able to get his camera up over the walls down Main Street. Uh, and also, if, if, we'll get to these later on at Dumbo and Pixar Pier. But he got his camera over the walls. And this is a shot over the wall of, of Main Street work being done facing the Disneyland Railroad facing Town Square. And that is, um, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Here's another shot of the middle stretch where you can see they haven't even put down any bricks yet. I don't even think that's track. Is that, is that track? I can't even tell if that's track or not. Uh, and then here's another shot of where the tracks combine or split depending on which way you're facing, I guess, uh, d down Main Street. This is, uh, Town Square is to our back. So thanks to John for that and future photos that I'm going to show you. Those are really neat. Uh, those, are, those are cool. We don't get to see what's behind those walls ever. I can't get my camera over the walls. I'm not tall enough. Let's head over to Dumbo. And I came back this week to Dumbo, not because anything new had developed in terms of the construction, although we do have some photos to show you. I came back because last week we mentioned that they took out the hedge, the hedge that separates Casey Jr. from Dumbo. Uh, and we were left to wonder if they were going to put the hedge back or if there was a reason. And I believe that the hedge is gone for good. Uh, there was a permit filed that uh, talks about some construction of a new uh, synthetic wood fence that's going to go... Well, actually, the, the, here's the exact verbiage from the permit. Synthetic wood fence behind existing show structure, uh, which obviously, you know, is... you know, And if this is for Dumbo specifically, so that's got to be where the hedge was. Um, and then it goes on to say they're going to relocate three light poles, footings for future marquee. So <clears throat> my guess is, like I said, they're going to, they need this, they need, a, they need a, a synthetic wood fence because they need more support, 
more foundation, I, I would imagine, for the shade structures that they are putting up over. It's a canopy of some kind. Matter of fact, the permit does say this as well. New steel structures with fabric canopy over the queue with electrical lighting inside or shade structures. So we're getting uh, shade and canopies over the queue, and those need to have you know, support. They need to be supported by something. So the, the area where the hedge uh, <clears throat> is is probably where, we're gonna be, where they're going to be putting uh, the, those new shade structures. Um, by the way, it did also notice it said footings for future marquee. We're getting a new marquee for Dumbo, uh, I'm assuming. And I'm curious to know what that is going to look like. Now, let's take a look at the photos John S. provided us. <clears throat> Here's a shot of uh, over the walls, and you can see there's the Dumbo, I guess the housing for the, you know, uh, for the, the base of the unit, the base of the, the attraction there in the middle left of your frame underneath that white tarp. And here's a look at the, uh, that's the old vintage ticket booth <clears throat> that exists behind the attraction. It doesn't have any use today other than I think there's a calliope in there that plays music. But that used to be where you got your tickets you, if you, back when they had ticket books. And I'm relieved to see that it's still there. It's still standing. Because uh, that's, you know, Disneyland history right there. Uh, but I wonder how the new marquee fits in and where the queue fits in around, in and around that. Because you can see they've dug up everything around the actual attraction, the demo attraction. Let's go to the next photo. You can see they've dug up everything. So uh, I'm wondering if they're putting in maybe a new, a new design uh, for the flooring, you know, or if it's just going to be plain brick, you know, uh, uh, blacktop, or what. But uh, good to see that they're keeping that 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 vintage structure there um, and, and building around it. Now you can see, actually, it looks like they've dug up. If we zoom in a little bit, it looks like they're they're digging, it's not, I wouldn't call it quite a trench, but it's, that's something. <laughs> that's probably, you know what, that's probably, uh, you know, foundational stuff for the, for the shade structures and the steel that they're putting up. And that is where the hub, or the, I mean, sorry, the hedge would have been, is behind that, actually. So pretty cool shots again from John S. Thank you very much for that. Now we'll move on to uh, a slow-mo of what's going on at Small World. And uh, I don't know what we'll find today, but this is going to be interesting. It's probably going to be not going to be a lot of changes um, this week. <clears throat> There's the new pavement that uh, we saw them, you know, having installed. Uh, since last week or the week before. Oh. Nothing new there, I don't think, so we'll keep going. But we will pause here. Last week I had ruminated on what those poles were, those new you know, vertical structures that they built, and I'm being advised that that is probably uh, for the new gate. The gate is being, it looks like the gate is being pushed back. Um, which is curious because the gate used to be up there where uh, the beginning of that, that small world facade is right there. Are they, is that what they're doing? I wonder if that's, are, I don't, th that can't be actually now that I think about it because they would have, they would have done more to the area that is, you know, that is vi viewable by guests on the right hand side where that, you know, are they just going to leave the woods there? <laughs> right. Uh, so, I mean, it could be a gate, but I'm not, but it may not be necessarily the gate that, that meets the guests. Let's, let's say that. Moving on. Yeah, that's definitely, you can see, we'll stop here again. Uh, that is definitely a new, there's a separation. They're getting ready to divide that from another, from the other half of the path. Right? I mean, that's all, that's the only thing we can, we can assume there. Those the, the wood there d determines or is is creating a separation between w to the two sides, um, and you can see there's even a difference in terms of how the dirt is being uh, prepared for that. Not a lot of differences here that I can tell from from last week, so we'll 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 end here. And but I did catch some video from. Last week I talked about this mesh that, or this uh, scrim that you I could see through with my eyes, 
but not with the camera. But this, this week, I was able to get the camera to look through here a little bit. And what we're looking at is uh, facing uh, the Small World facade. And these guys, it looks like they have put some new... I'm guessing that they're, they've, they're watering the new concrete that has been put down. They, right? Is that, what you're, is that what you do? You water the concrete after, right? Uh, to smooth it out? Not really sure. Certainly that's not dirt, so that's got to be finished work. And then this shot is just of, you can see some uh, conduit getting ready there for whatever they're doing underground. Let's head to Pier. Not a lot to talk about here. <laughs> it looked to me to be exactly the same as last week. I didn't see hardly any changes at all. I mean, what are we going to see anyway? But uh, just a, you know, a whole lot of scaffolding. No, no, no work being done on the fun wheel. Uh, that's about the same as well. Now, what I did want to note, this, this shot is, it looks like our, our view, something has been taken out. Uh, maybe th there was a covering here on, uh, on both sides. Stuff has been taken out. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's stop. So definitely on the right, uh, most everything has been taken out from the front, you know, the entrance to Ariel's Grotto, the, 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 uh, the entrance sign, the, the big swirly thing, <laughs> whatever that is, that's gone. Uh, and I'm sure anything else that was, you know, in front of the door area there uh, has, has been gone. You can see that's just, it's just been vacated. Uh, and then on the left, if we go back, you can see that, uh, that, well, I, again, I don't know what that is, that, 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 that tower, the gazebo with the, with the blue umbrellas and the tower and all that, that's all gone. Uh, or actually, I, I take the back. It looks like the gazebo thing is still there, whatever that, that covering thing is. But, um, the, uh, the, the tower behind it is gone. We'll move on down to uh, the pier to take a look at the launch for California Screaming or the Incredicoaster. Uh, not a lot to update on here other than to say that they're still working on the track. It's covered, so we can't even really see what they're doing. Um, but obviously work is happening there. And then we'll just take a look at, I'm not going to do any comparison this week, but I just wanted to show you, you know, where we're at today uh, at the Incredicoaster queue. Hopefully soon we'll be able to see some differences here, but it's probably, you know, too much to, or too soon to see much going on there. There is, though, the uh, the old murals, you know, the, that, that were on the pier are gone. So obviously we should expect new stuff there soon, or eventually, but those murals have been taken down. I don't know what you call them, murals or billboards, or I'm not sure what the word is for those. Oh, now let's take a look at this. The... It looks like we're getting a new paint scheme for Toy Story Midway Mania. Uh, if we stop here, the structure that's visible above the scrims has got this new blue, red, and white paint scheme. And I didn't notice this immediately, but uh, Ian did. And I'm not sure if anybody's picked up on this, but if you look at the old, it's, it was definitely a, a kind of a red-orange cream-colored scheme that they had previously. And this is all over the entire building, that, that scheme. Although we can only see it here from this shot, I would expect that color scheme to to take over the entire building. So that's something. Um, we've got a new color scheme for Toy Story Midway Mania. Here's a shot of the launch tube. Again, not a lot to see uh, here, but I covered it anyway, because <laughs> I don't know. I'm a completionist. And then some final views of what's happening around the Incredicoaster queue again, but from a different angle. Again, I, I'm not expecting to see much here uh, because it's just, it's been too soon, but those, that, that view will change fairly soon. And there you go, guys, that's it. We're gonna end with a, just a, a stroll down memory lane, <laughs> the old Paradise Pier. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with your friends, and uh, we'll see you next week. Fresh bacon stuff. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh baked!